The 2020-21 season countdown is brought to you by Odds Checker, your one-stop betting hub. Arsenal enjoyed a great end to the 2019-20 season with their FA Cup victory over Chelsea, securing silverware and a place in the Europa League. This was followed up by an equally impressive performance in their Community Shield victory over league champions Liverpool. Arsenal are now revitalised side under Mikel Arteta and there are plenty of signs of optimism since his arrival in December 2019. After a year of disappointment and frustration, there is definitely some light at the end of the tunnel and the current Arsenal project is something that the Arsenal fans can get behind. Arsenal have been busy in the transfer market so far and have added the Brazilian duo Willian and Gabriel to the side as well as securing the services of Danny Ceballos for one year from Real Madrid. With just under a month left in the transfer window, many more ins and outs are expected at the Emirates with Arsenal being linked with the likes of Thomas Partey and Hossim Awar among others. But how will they line up at the start of the new season? Let's find out. Mikel Arteta used a 4-2-3-1 system in the opening few months of the season, but switched to a 3-4-3 post-lockdown to provide more defensive stability. Arsenal beat the likes of Liverpool, Chelsea and Manchester City with this system, and Arteta will look to continue with this formation at the start of the season. Goalkeeper, Martinez. Arsenal's biggest selection headache is in goal with both Bern Leno and Emi Martinez having an equal claim to the number one spot. While Bern Leno has been more consistent, Emi Martinez is more likely to start the season between the sticks. The Argentine played the Community Shield against Liverpool and may have earned Arteta's trust with his fantastic performance in the restart. Martinez may have the edge over Leno due to his superior handling and distribution which is integral to Arteta's style of play. Left-sided centre-back, Gabriel. On the left side of the back three is Arsenal's latest defensive addition, Gabriel. Arsenal picked the likes of Napoli and Manchester United to sign the Brazilian defender from Lille for around £28 million. Being left-footed, Gabriel adds balance to the defence and is also incredible in the air and with the ball at his feet. Right-sided centre-back, William Saliba. With Mustafi injured and Rob Holding subject to reports of him maybe moving, William Saliba is set to start for Arsenal as the right-sided centre-back. The big Frenchman was brought from Saint-Étienne last season for around about £27 million and is touted as one of the best young defenders in Europe. Arsenal fans got a glimpse of him in the friendly versus MK Dons where he looked assured and also very calm in defence on the ball. Centre-back. David Luiz. In the middle of the back three will be the veteran David Luiz. In an up and down first season for Arsenal, Luiz was exceptional for the Gunners in their FA Cup run as they switched to a back three. This system masks his poor spatial awareness and decision making while it highlights his strengths which are his aerial ability and distribution from the back. Left wing back, Kieran Tierney. The left wing-back role will be occupied by none other than Kieran Tierney. Tierney had an injury-ridden opening few months at Arsenal, but became a fan favourite since his Premier League restart. Tierney is incredibly quick, has a lethal delivery and is also an incredibly composed defender. Tierney has deputised at left centre-back in recent weeks, but the arrival of Gabriel means that Tierney can be unleashed further forward where he can have a bigger impact on the game. Right wing-back. Hector Bellerin. At the moment, Arsenal's first choice right wing back is Hector Bellerin. The Spaniard was nearing his best form in the back half of last season and was instrumental in Arsenal's FA Cup run after coming back from a crucial ligament injury. Bellerin has received plenty of interest from clubs all over Europe in this window and there have been many reports indicating that he could be on his way to PSG for the right fee. If Bellerin were to leave to raise funds for other positions, the inform Ainsley Maitland-Niles will take his place after plenty of impressive performances in recent big games for Arsenal. Defensive midfield, Granite Xhaka. One of the first names on Arsenal's team sheet will be the former captain Granite Xhaka. 
The Swiss international has turned his Arsenal career around under Mikel Arteta and is one of the key members of the squad. Last season in the league, Arsenal lost only three matches in 29 times Granit Xhaka started and completed at least 45 minutes. In the remaining nine matches where Xhaka barely featured, Arsenal lost seven out of nine. Xhaka's presence in the Gunners' midfield is crucial and he has become a true leader in the middle of the park. While Xhaka has been influential, Arsenal do need additions in this department and have been heavily linked with a move for Thomas Partey. The Ghanaian has a £45 million release clause which Atletico want in full and that appears to be the main sticking point in that transfer and Arsenal would need to sell some assets before they can sign Partey. Central midfielder Danny Ceballos Alongside Xhaka in the midfield for this season will be Danny Ceballos, who returns for another year on loan from Real Madrid. He formed a formidable partnership with Granit Xhaka in the back end of last season and was one of Arsenal's best players post the restart. The Spaniard is known for his incredible ball progression and dribbling skills and it is integral to Arsenal's build-up play. Arsenal, however, are still interested in adding creativity in midfield and have been linked with Hossim Awar. He would cost Arsenal upwards of 60 million euros, but the club is in contact with Leon and his agents over a possible transfer. Awar is only 22 and has the potential to be one of the best players in the world in his position and could be a massive coup for the Gunners. Left winger Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. On the left flank is Arsenal captain and talisman Aubameyang. Aubameyang is one of the true world-class players in the squad and is the heartbeat of the Arsenal team. He scored 29 goals in all competitions last season, including a brace in the semis and the final of the FA Cup against Manchester City and Chelsea. He continued his scintillating form against Liverpool in the Community Shield, where he scored a screamer to help Arsenal win another piece of silverware. Right winger, Nicolas Pepe. On the right wing of the front three is Arsenal's record-breaking transfer, Nicolas Pepe. Pepe has been a bit up and down in his opening season in England, where he took time to adapt to the pace and physicality of the league. He eventually ended the season with eight goals and 10 assists in all competitions and will look to push on in the coming season to justify his price tag. Arsenal have also added Chelsea winger Willian as backup option at right wing, and he adds plenty of experience and creativity to the Arsenal side. Striker, Alexander Lacazette. The Frenchman is set to continue up front for Arsenal despite many reports linking him with a move away from the Emirates this summer. While Eddie Nketiah is waiting in the wings, he's not quite ready yet to be that main man up top. Lacazette is incredibly important to the way Arsenal play. Thanks to his excellent hold-up play, Lacazette can drop deep and play as a false number nine at times, which helps open up spaces for Aubameyang and Pepe to run into. He has also been the main man for the Gunners in a clutch of situations against elite opponents across Europe. This is our predicted 11 for Arsenal to start the season. Arsenal are building something very special under Arteta and the Gunners will be hoping that this side can help bring Arsenal back to where they belong. Arsenal's last three FA Cup victories were eventually false dawns but just papered over systematic issues deep rooted within the club. But with Arteta at the helm, there's no reason to believe that this time, finally, it will be different. Well, that's it for today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Hope that you're looking forward to seeing Arsenal play. How will Arteta get on? How will this Arsenal side play under Arteta in the upcoming season? Would love to hear from you. Leave your thoughts down below. Also comment, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to AFTV. See you soon. Robbie here from AFTV. We just got to say a big thank you to everybody who follows us across our various channels. Over a million followers on YouTube. Don't forget, you can now also catch us on Reddit. We're on Reddit, so get involved with us on Reddit and also on TikTok. Keep it AFTV, baby, right here.